Hello friend, welcome back. As you know, Laravel 10 is now published. So now in this video, I want to discuss about what is the new all the changes in Laravel 10. So friend, first of all, I want to tell you Laravel 10 is very stable, one of the version. I just mean it as a stable because of all, if you already know that Laravel 9, that will be just like that same. So there have no major changes in Laravel 10. If you already know that Laravel 9, all that code process and all that functionality will be same for the Laravel 10. You may only face some of the issues when you install different type of third party packages because of all third party packages may take little time for updated their version. So when their version will be available for the 10, then you can also able to use it rather than everything will be just like the same like as a Laravel 9. So there have no major changes, but there have some of the little features is added in Laravel 10. Now in this video, I want to show you everything with the live example. So first of all, I want to do better. I want to install one of the Laravel new fresh package. If you now go to that documentation right now, there are official website as a Laravel.com. And here right now I'm using that XAMPP. Okay. I'm using that XAMPP and also I'm using that local host. So that is our local host admin, right? There is a PHP my admin. I hope you already know about that little bit, the uh, data pages. So that will be our databases part. And also I am using php version i also want to share with you so i am right now using the php as 8.1.2 so that is my setup okay like first of all now i want to install it if you want to install it simply go to that getting started and that is the installation and here there is a your first laravel project i want to install it by the composer i have already installed that composer if you go to that get composer official website from here simply download it Okay, here that is one of the exe file. Simply click it on here and download it in your system. I have already installed it. If you also want to check it as a common prom, I want to check it. That is, I am already installed that composer. So if you write down as a composer and then version, right now that will be loaded successfully. Here you can see I right now I am using the composer version as a 2.2.7. Great make that sure you install that composer okay that pretty much the same things as i told you that will be the same condition right now there is a version as a laravel 10 okay right now if you go to that our first laravel project i want to create on the simple new project i copy it and now in my uh, st docs better into the st docs i want to create another new folder okay i just named that folder as a laravel okay i name it as a laravel and now in particular this folder ready i want to create on the new project here i want to open with the cmd so now that is our total folder and here i want to now create on the new project that is all i just simply want to change that for our file name that means our folder name will be as a laravel 10 okay so now that, that will be our project name as a laravel 10 and that will be our total composer create project laravel laravel great now if you click as enter now that will be downloaded all that file from to the internet and it will be created on the new folder in particular that area as a laravel 10 and now you can see it's now downloading all that file from to the internet so friend it may take little time better when it will be done then i will come back again here you can see friend here we successfully able to install our laravel 10 new package okay here we successfully install it perfect so right now i have already created our folder name as a laravel 10 First of all, I want to do and to change that directory by the CD as a change directory and our folder name as a Laravel 10. Now you can see we are successfully return redirect to the Laravel 10 folder. And here I want to run as a PHP artisan and then serve. Right now, if you click as enter, our server link is here. That is our server running. I copy it and now if you open, okay, I want to open it. Now click as enter. Yes that is the new look of laravel 10 okay so here they're actually changes their ui design right now that is display that things like that way you can see laravel version as a 10.0.3 and then php version right now i'm using as a 8.1.2 great and also i want to install laravel breeze that process will be just like that same before if you go to simply again to the laravel official website and from here i want to go to that packages i want to install that breeze that is a default authentication package right so that will be just like that same as laravel 9 here they have no major changes here if you want to install it there is a laravel breeze simple the same process we have to run it as a composer required laravel breeze and dev i want to copy it and then i want to open another new terminal 
Okay, I want to open another new terminal here. Our PHP artisan service running, and you can also do another job like better. I want to take this project in our, our editor right now. I'm using that Visual Visual Studio Code editor. If you open it now, open folder. I want to select our folder name that I have created in our ST docs. That is a Laravel folder, and that is a Laravel 10. Now I want to select it. Now that will be added all that file in here. Okay, great. You can see that is actually all that file. And here, if you also want to notice, that is actually the pretty much same things. Like that is our app into the app area. That is our HTTP, and that will be our controller. All right. So all that our controller will be saved in particular that area. That is the same process that we have done in Laravel 10. The structure is the pretty much same structure. That is a bootstrap. That is a configure all that folder. And there is a databases there is a migration right and then the resources and there is a view and there is our welcome blade dot php right now that is actually loaded one of the welcome blade and that is our welcome blade okay great same things now also i want to create one of the new database like here there is a database name i want to create one of the new database as a laravel okay laravel test okay i make it as a test so that will be the Laravel test. Now this type of one of the database I want to create, simply click as a create database is now successfully created. Okay, here that is our database. Now I want to simply configure it. I configured this database, I copy it. Now that is in our project, into the project, if you go to the .env, and into the .env, that is our database connection. Everything is just like that same, only now we have to change that our database name. I use that database name as a Laravel test, okay, that I have already created. I simply create the connection now click as a save all great okay here that is the same pretty much same things that is our routed that that is our web route into the web route that is on the default function for the home it should be written directly on the view page and that is our home okay that means in our view and that is our welcome plate great and that is our all that file the structure will be the same and now I want to better also install that breeze because that will be very easy one of the process I want to copy it and here right now from to the terminal that means from our visual studio code editor I want to open on the new terminal you can open this new terminal in here rather than you can also do the same things that I have done before simply go particular this folder and from here you can also open the CMD okay that will be actually same things here you can go if you go you can see that is a Laravel 10 so from here you can also run your um, total um, command from to this area so right now i want to install it i want to install it so that will be our composer record laravel breezed and dev i copy it and now here i want to paste it okay now click as a enter now laravel breeze will be installed yeah you can see it's now successfully downloaded all that file from to the internet the process is the same process as i told you there have no major changes in laravel only there have some of the few changes like if they're like right now they're using using that generating um, cli prompts and then there's a php version profile helper validation rules password helper there is a remove deprecated process layout and laravel panel so that is the simple some of the um, features is now added so one by one i also want to share everything with you uh, like first of all i want to install it here yeah you can see our laravel um, breeze is successfully installed which is fine and also after that we have to do we have to publish it i want to publish if you copy it i copied as a php addition breeze install and now i want to update that will be here i want to paste it now if you click as enter now when you install that laravel breeze so that is the fast changes as i told you our fast change is generating cli prompts okay so now they're actually using this type of one of the command first of all it will ask you that which stack would you like to install if you want to like to install that blade you can install it by the pressing that zero or rather then you can also use it the name as a blade okay rather than that will be the react view and then api right now i'm using that blade so you can use it as a blade okay blade or rather than if you also want to use that only the number you can use that number like right now using as a zero now click as a enter now next question is would you like to install the dark mode support if you want to make it as a dark mode simply use it as a yes okay that will be the yes or rather than you can also use it as a no so right now i make it as a no and our third question is that would you like to prefer paste test instead of the php unit i also want to make it as a no 
right so now that's all is successfully generated all the dependency for our breeze like as i told you before that will be actually created some of the things like here you can see now it's created one of the dashboard after that locking it should be returned redirect to the view page into the view that is our dashboard and also they have some of the default profile that is also another profile profile update profile destroy that is all the default route Okay, that means authentication default route is now successfully generated. Now in our view area, it's now created under the new folder as the auth. And also there is a layout that they have some of the default components. So that is all the default file as a components file. Okay, here right now that is all the default one. And also if you go to that our app and into the HTTP, into the console, now also it should be created thus another folder as a auth, which is just like as a Laravel 9. So as I told you, there have no many of changes which is fine so here it's successfully done and now if you want to check it okay here after that now we have to uh, run as a php addition migrate i copy it and php addition migrate now i have already configured our database in here as a laravel test and also if you go to the database they have default some of the table you can see there is on the default table and now i want to migrate it so if you want to migrate simply go again i want to open the terminal Okay, that is our terminal into the terminal area. We are going to open on the new one. Okay, there is a new one is successfully created. And now here I want to run as a PHP addition migrate. Okay, so that will be the PHP addition migrate. Now click as the enter. Now it should be created all that our default table. Here you can see our all the table is successfully created. Okay, now if you go to that our database, into the database, now that should be all that our default table. Yeah, you can see that is all that Laravel default table is successfully installed. Right now, there is a one table as a user table. If you now go to our home page, now if you refresh it, now that should be as a locking and register. You can see we successfully installed that breeze. And from here, that will be our logging page. That is our logging page. And also, if you go to the register, that will be our register page. Okay, and from here, if you want to create another new one, like I name it as a user, email as a user at the rate gmail.com and then password you demand the three for five and also want to use it now if you click as a register now that should be created on the new one yeah you can see there is a user is successfully created okay and if you go to that profile and they have also another default page as a profile page so there is a slash profile if you want to update any information you can actually update it if you want to update the password you can also update the password from to this area there is a delete account so that is the all default route you are out here you can see that is also all, all the default route in here there is a web.php that is a default route as a php that is a profile profile update and profile destroy okay i hope everything is very clear right now we here we successfully able to install it that our laravel project and also our laravel breeze is installed successfully as i told you both of this is very similar with our laravel 10 so that is our i have created as a user at the rate gmail.com and password and also to check it now click as a login yeah you are successfully logged in okay and if you go to that our user table now that should be new user user is successfully created great great okay friends so as i told you this is very much um, very similar with laravel 9 so they have no major changes so in our next video first of all i want to discuss about the laravel 10 new features as a generating cli prompts okay so in our next video one by one i want to cover everything so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video